Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and my next video in the weapon series before the one year anniversary is going to be Matt. So, one thing I want to say is if I forget one of Matt's weapons because I don't know that I have them all, uh, I apologize. I'm sure somebody like Jace would be very quick to be able to point out what I'm missing or what I have failed to cover because he was somebody who was actually pretty instrumental if you don't know Jace, uh, he's another content creator. He makes amazing guides. And he was one of the people that really put Matt on the map for me because of his ability to use Matt in high tier content that at the time, like when he would do it, I wasn't even able to complete yet. So anyway, uh, going into Matt's weapons, uh, Matt is the way that I see him. And I'm not saying, again, I don't have as much familiarity with this character as some of the others. Uh, because I use him, but more, you know, in a, in a much more specific type of role. And so Matt's really a, he's got some uh, debuff capability. He's got a lot of buff capability and can also fill the role of primary healer. So I'm going to try my best to do him justice and, and cover everything, kind of try to encompass it all. But uh I will be a little bit skewed probably towards him being a healer and buffer, but I also think that is kind of one of his most major roles. Um, doesn't have a lot in his kit that I'm aware of that does elemental damage. And I mean, not, not that he has none, but not really known for that. Really more focused on support. Um, I think as far as noteworthy weapons go, I'm going to start with Killer Hornet. And although it has fallen off, it's not nearly what it used to be. When this first came out, Matt was either the first or one of the first two to get a diamond sigil break. And when you need a diamond sigil break, man, you need a diamond sigil break, right? So this weapon, though, was, was really good when it first came out. Because not only did it give you that diamond sigil break, but 720% physical non-elemental damage was pretty strong when it first came out. 46 physical attack and 39 physical ability potency were also quite strong. It also did have a sigil boost for circle. And so this, although not nearly a weapon that I would be going for now, I think I would be remiss not to mention it because when it came out, it was a big deal. Uh, next, I'm going to go over Core Defender. This is a weapon, and I'm going to just kind of maybe mark some of these as I go for what I would try to be getting if I were building Matt or given some free vouchers, right? Amulet Tribute is an amazing skill. I think it's still really good, especially for the role Matt fills, because magic defense increase, potency starting at OB6, potency high to all allies is a strong ability. Uh, the R abilities don't really go super well with it if you're going to use him mostly in a utility role. But, um, and, and the support materia is kind of all over the place, but this ability here is something that got me through a lot of content, and I do still think that it, it does have some value in the game. Uh, the next thing I will go through is Prime Number. This is his AoE healing weapon. <laughs> The first AoE heal weapon that he ever had. This was with him when he first came out. This is like his version of, you know, Aerith or Cloud. You know, that's what he used for AoE heal. Again, our abilities were a little bit janky with Matt. Uh, this boost lightning resist was like... I mean, not saying it's bad every time, but, you know, not, not quite as good as some of the other people who got AoE heal weapons that had stuff that was a little bit more in tune with what they wanted to do. Buff debuff extension, though, was really nice, and I think he was the only person that had that for a really long time, although it was only on a materia slot, which did limit its ability. Moving along, to maybe another example of kind of whack stuff. Um, similar to the cloud weapon we talked about, 900% physical, non elemental damage. Not bad. Uh, lightning potency on it makes it a little bit weird. However, great sub weapon for a lightning user. The next weapon on this list that I find to be noteworthy is Syringe Rapier. And this weapon is extremely good because it does multiple things. So magic defense increase, physical defense increase, mid potency to everybody at just a five star copy is really nice. Starting at OB6, it can stack to high potency, which is also obviously something that people are very into. As far as our abilities, 
The boost HP is always nice. Buff debuff extension is something that I find to be also invaluable. And having both of these on one weapon not only makes it good if you're using it on mat, but makes this a great candidate for a sub weapon as well. Uh, the fact that it also gives him access to Cure All, which was an ability that we started seeing, I don't even remember when, but I think it was at least six months or so into the game, makes this weapon, I think, very noteworthy and something that I would consider picking up if I didn't have it, or at least taking it maybe higher as a sub weapon. The very last weapon that I'm going to cover with Matt is Centipede, and this would probably be my number one weapon that I would go for on Matt at the moment, especially if I didn't have a copy. Uh, this weapon is really good. So looking at it, let's just say at OB6, uh, it does an AoE heal, which is great. Maybe it's not quite as strong as weapons that are dedicated to mass healing, but still going to be pretty good. But also physical defense increase. Um, mid potency to all allies and then starting at ob6 you get the high stacking ability the fact that you can both buff your entire team's physical defense while healing them is you know for somebody who's your main healer or even a support uh is like i mean that's just the value is is too great to even really put a, a, a number or weight to it uh also boost heal as an r ability great for a weapon like this Buff debuff extension, great for an ability like this. So if you're using this weapon on Matt, this is like two of the top R abilities you could possibly want. And it also makes this weapon an amazing sub weapon for a healer because more and more we're seeing that healers don't just heal, they also buff their team or sometimes they debuff. Buff debuff buff extension is amazing for that reason. Uh, it's got a heal boost for a single ally, kind of more of a niche thing, but still, uh, not to be overlooked and so i do think at the moment if you're playing matt as a you know utility character for buffs or as a main healer i think this is probably his very best weapon and so if uh if i were going for stuff again hard for me to remember when some of these weapons came out and i don't i feel like centipede's been out for a while but has it been out for you know since before april 29th I just can't quite remember. Same with Syringe Rapier. However, I would be looking at these two um, very, very heavily. I would secondarily be looking at something like Core Defender because I think those three weapons are some of his very best and that's, that's most likely what I would be going for for Matt. I think that's about everything I have for Matt. Again, not somebody that I've used extensively, but somebody who has still gotten me through a lot of content so i still have a lot of respect for the character let me know what you guys think that is the end of this video